Hello, my name is George Belcher. I've been a councilman in the city of Port Jervis for 16 years, up until December 31st of 2013. Last November, the vote between my opponent and I turned out to be a tie. This was to be resolved by a vote of the Common Council, which also turned out to be a tie. So the seat has been vacant since December, since January 1st. There will be another election in November to determine who will be the second councilman in the city of Port Jervis on Second Ward. Like I said, I served for 16 years. I provided dependable and consistent representation in the Second Ward. I have always worked for an affordable city government and a government for and by the people of this city. I care about the people and this city, and I was proud to serve. I am a lifelong resident of this city, and I have raised my family here. My wife and I are fortunate enough to still have all of our family in the area yet today so that we all can get together. I voted no on the 2012 and the 2014 city budgets. I would have voted no on the 2013 city budget, but I had a medical procedure done on the day that the council meeting was held and the vote was taken for the 2013 budget and I couldn't attend. The reason that I voted no was because the increases compound themselves. It's 2% this year, 2% the following year, 3% the next year. You know, when they all add up, you got uh, 7% just in those figures that I mentioned. So, you know, every year it, it increases. I've worked with four different mayors, uh, all good mayors, uh, during my term. I worked first with Mike Gordon, who was a Republican. Then I worked with and served under Ross Decker, who was a Democrat. I served under Gary Lapriori, who was also a Democrat. And then I served under Russ Potter, who was a Republican. We all worked to provide Port Jervis a better place to live, work, and play. I'm sure that I can work with other mayors, the present or future. I, as I said, I lived in Port Jervis all my life. I graduated Port Jervis High School in June of 1950, and I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps in July of 1950 right after the Korean War started. I was discharged in July of 1954 with an honorable discharge at the rate of sergeant. I served six years as a little league manager and coach in Port Jervis. I served six years on the Port Jervis Lions Volunteer Ambulance Corps. I'm a 42-year member of the Port Jervis Fire Department, Never Sink Engine Company, number one. I'm a 42-year member of the Benevolent Protective Order of Elks, number 645, here in Port Jervis. A life member of the VFW Naval Ship, 7241, here in Port Jervis member of the American Legion here in Port Jervis, and the Marine Corps League in Milford, Pennsylvania. I'm a member of the Tri-State Chamber of Commerce here in Port Jervis, and St. Peter's Lutheran Church, also here in Port Jervis. In addition, I'm a member of the New York State Fire Chiefs Association, a member of the Firemen's Association, of the state of New York, 
a member of the Hudson Valley Volunteer Firemen's Association. I'm married to my lovely wife, Linda, for 44 years. We reside at 5 Kingston Avenue in Port Jervis. We have four children, eight grandchildren, and five great-grandchildren. I retired from VAW of America in Ellenville, New York in January of 1997 after serving 15 years as the general traffic manager. I was retained as a consultant from 1997 until 2002. I served on the West End Memorial Park Committee and collected $4,650 for benches in the park. I agree that we have to do everything we can to reduce the amount of vacant and dilapidated homes in our city. They're an awful eyesore and they're, ex they're an expense to the city government. We have to make full use of our recreational resources like West End Beach, Elks Fox Park, Church Street, and our other playgrounds. We have to continue to reduce our energy costs as much as we can. I have saved the city and the taxpayers approximately $800,000 since 1997 by negotiating contracts with suppliers other than Orange and Rockland to buy our electricity and our natural gas at a reduced rate. We have to continue to support our efficient police department as well as make sure that our fire department has everything it needs to maintain an efficient operation. Please remember that our fire department is strictly volunteer. If we had to have a paid fire department, you wouldn't be able to pay the taxes. I have been supporting the Tri-State Widening Project on East Main Street by Phil's Ford, Tom and Arlene's Diner, a Easy Way Beverage, and also the Neversink River Bridge there in Tri-State. This project has been dragging on since 1999, held up for different reasons by the state of New York. We have to repair our roads and infrastructure and replace when necessary. We must continue to plant trees, flowers, and other landscaping that makes this city look upscale and attractive. Remember, Election Day is November 4th. The polls are open from 6 a.m. in the morning until 9 p.m. in the evening. The election inspectors put in a hard 15-hour day so that you have the opportunity to vote. Please take a few minutes out of this 15-hour day to go vote. If you cannot do it, please vote by an absentee ballot. If you need an application for an absentee ballot, please call me at 845-856-1036 or 845-283-2593 and I'll get you one. If you need a ride to the polls, call the same phone number 856-1036 and we will get you there to vote. I want to take this opportunity to thank you very much for taking the time to listen to what I've had to say. Have a good day and a good night.